Hi, welcome back to Sahara TV. My name is Rudolf Okonkwo, and uh, we apologize for the technical difficulty we had before. We have with us from Accra, Ghana, uh, journalist Samuel Obo, who is an investigative reporter with Daily Graphic, and Ama Mensa, who is also a journalist in Ghana. Welcome to Sahara TV. Ama. Thank you, Rudolf. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Before we, we were off, we were discussing uh, the situation in Ghana and uh, what the reactions of people are to, to the death of the president. Uh, I think, uh, let me go back to Samuel. Samuel, you were telling us about the media, how the media uh, the, the, is covering the, the event. So can you continue from there, please? Yes. Uh, like I indicated, you know, the news has shocked many people, including the media, and we're totally unprepared for this. Uh, you know, now we're making efforts to give maximum coverage to the president, the former president, Steph. Uh, especially now that his uh, his you know, efforts are being made to lay him to rest. Uh, I think his funeral will be between 8th and 10th August. Um, so as you can imagine, the media is extremely busy. Okay. Um, uh, Ama, let me ask you, how is the, the new president, the new president, is he being received well? Is there, um, I, I understand that he is going to be the candidate of his party for the December election. How are the people reacting to this change in guard? Um, well, John, um, but President Mahama, before he became president, as vice president, he was already in the public eye. The people were um, used to seeing him in public um, towards the latter uh, months of the president, former president. Um, he was performing most of the official duties of state and going around doing official duties. So Kenyans were used to seeing him. Uh, most Kenyans wish him the best. Uh, they are hopeful and optimistic that he will perform his duties in the last five months. Um, as to the NDC, that's the ruling party, um, endorsing him as their flag bearer, um, that was to be expected. And we're looking to see how he will go for in campaigning uh, to win elections for 2012. Now, Samuel, the, the international opinion is that the transition was very smooth. But as an investigative reporter, can you tell us uh, if there were kind of uh, movement on the ground about people who are not comfortable with the new person taking over? Was, was there any kind of movement like that? Uh, not, not that I know of. You know, uh, uh, you know, it's important to say that uh, the, the, the smooth and immediate transition of power to President Mahama after his boss's death, uh, has to reinforce the understanding as a, as a superior democracy. Uh, you know, when what is trying to rally around Mahama, and that, if you if you if you following the news, it's been endorsed by his party, the NDC, as uh, the, the the flag bearer for the 2012 election. There will be a conference. Uh, there will be a congress before September, and the the, the you know it's a symbolic congress just to to confirm him, confirm him as the, uh, the the party's presidential candidate. Uh, however, you know, people are, on the, uh, at the moment, uh, people are, are making moves, you know, uh, be, be behind the scenes, you know, to come up as the party's vice president. My mama has to select somebody as his vice president. And, you know, politicians are, 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 are campaigning uh, quite covertly to emerge as, as that candidate. Uh, so I can tell you that people are uh, on the ground now. Uh, people are making effort, you know, to be the main the vice presidential candidate of the of the of the new new democratic uh, Congress party. Uh, Sam, can I ask a question? Uh, do you know what uh, who some of these names are that might be jockeying for the title of vice president in Ghana? Uh, some names have, have have come up. There is. Uh, uh, certain Chris Buche, Dr. Chris Buche was was Minister of Finance during uh, former President uh, Rawlings' regime, you know, between 1992 and 2000. Mm -hmm. And his name has been mentioned. Uh, then there is uh, a certain, uh, now the current Minister for Trade and Industry, Anna Teke. Mm -hmm. The name has also been, they've been mentioned in connection to uh, the Vice President's position. Uh, we have a second Sylvester Mesa, who is, who is the chief executive officer of of the National Health Insurance Scheme. 
he, he played as well as the main for you know, he, 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 he the main thing to the job. Uh, we are, we are, we are keeping our fingers crossed. Uh, we hope uh, the president makes the right choice, you know, in the interest of the nation. Now, Ama, let me ask you, I know for most of our viewers who may not be familiar with politics in, in, in Ghana, it, it, are you saying that there was no um, balance of power, that nothing happened to the balance of power in, in terms of geographical or religious and ethnic uh, setup in Ghana because of this change? Or is the system designed to take it in? Hello, Rudolf. Yeah. I'm saying, I, I'm asking if, if there was any change in the balance of power in Ghana as a result of this, this, uh, this transition, or there, there was nothing like that, no change in the balance of power? Not, um, not really. It was a relatively smooth uh, transition, as uh, we all saw. Um, the, you know, the, when the president died, the government did move quickly, um, and they swore in uh, Professor Mahama. Um, in the background, there seems to be a power, like a shift in the power dynamic. Um, the same old players are in place. Um, I think not much has changed in the NDC's uh, party uh, leadership. I think they're still going to go ahead and keep things as is. Okay. Samuel, I know that it's too early. I mean, the present, the dead president has not been buried. But do you see any, any, any chance that there will be a debate within the media in Ghana about the health of any potential candidates that will, will want to be president as a result of what happened? Uh, indeed, you know, following the death of, of President Mills, this has become a key issue. Uh, many people are disappointed that uh, President Mills did not step down uh, when it became evident that he was, he was sick. Uh, you know, uh, people are restraining themselves because it, it, it's yet to be buried. And, you know, we, we, we people are showing respect to his memory. But as soon as President Mills is buried, I'm sure there will be specific calls for all presidential aspirants to be screened medically and even psychologically to ensure, to ensure that they are fit to, they are fit to, to govern. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, that is becoming a very, very key issue in our governance. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go to Karen because uh, she had some comments from some of our our viewers about the, what's going on in in Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, actually, on on your point uh, about uh, well, let me first of all uh, start off with what a lot of Sahara TV uh, and Sahara reporters readers said about uh, the death of Atta Mills, and um, you got a lot of comments from Facebook when the news first broke. Um, obviously, a lot of people were shocked and a lot of people were very saddened and sent their condolences to the people of Ghana. Um, one comment on, uh, on Facebook, actually, um, from Kiflu Hussein says, RIP, quite a loss for Africa, as we don't have many statesmen who came to power through a genuine vote by the people. Um, many have said, um, may his soul, another one, Oya, Ola Niyi um, Adu says, May his soul rest in perfect peace. Um, and just a lot of uh, saying, calling Black Tuesday in Ghana, and just a lot of well wishes for, for the people in Ghana. But um, to the point that you just mentioned about um, whether or not uh, African leaders should disclose their health status before running for office or while running for office, um, we have a lot of people who are saying that maybe there's a time that we sh this is a time that we should try to encourage our leaders to be healthy. Uh, we have um, a from Steve Ogbode uh, who says it will be a welcome idea for African health leaders to disclose their health status. Um, from Gloria Adagban on Twitter, she also said that it would be a better idea for African leaders to disclose their health status. However, many of them would not want to because it would put their competitors at an advantage. So I'm wondering what um, you've mentioned that people are saying that they don't want to speak ill of the dead and that they are disappointed that Atta Mills didn't disclose his health status. But is it time that we maybe demand health status reports from our leaders? All right, um, let me go back to Samuel. Samuel, can you, uh, have we heard from the new president? Have you heard from him? Um, is there any change in policy or is it going to be a continuation of what uh, Atamila was uh, pursuing? Uh, I, you know, in view of, in view of the, 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 the sad state 
you know, we are reading at the moment, and he is seen at the moment. I'm not sure there will be any major policy shift. Indeed, uh, some, 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 some ministers of state or, or some, some heads of President Mills have indicated that as a sign of respect to, to the late president, uh, Mahama should not, should not, uh, not carry out any uh, cabinet reshuffle or any major changes in government. Uh, so I'm sure uh, for now, Mahama will be concerned about, uh, about, about Ghana getting the former president to rest. And I've, uh, I've already indicated that he's already saddled the responsibility of selecting a new vice, vice president. And it's a, it's a major, it's a key decision he has to make because it will determine whether or not, uh, or it, it, it will partly inform uh, whether or not he will be retained as, as president of Ghana in the 2012 elections. So uh, for now, I don't expect any major polit policy change. Uh, let's, let's see what, what will happen in the coming weeks or maybe in the first couple of, the next couple of months. Um, uh, let me ask you, because most Nigerians who are observing events in, in Ghana are, are impressed about the reaction and how people were, were accepting and dealing with this. Why is it that Ghana could do this this way, this smoothly, and Nigerians, Nigerians when, when they had their own uh, death you know, of a president, couldn't handle it very well? Well, I would first say that Ghana has um, a heritage of uh, a long practice in democracy, and we have been a relatively peaceful nation. Um, up to now, we still are. But Nigeria, of course, has a different power dynamic, so there are lots of reasons why their uh, transition from one president to another was a bit um, tumultuous, and Ghana... Ghana was uh, relatively smooth, but I think the government on its own acted as it should. It was in the constitution, it was mandated by law, so they just followed what was mandated. They just went with what was in the constitution, as should every country. All right, uh, thank you so much. I don't know, Karen, do you have any other comments mm -hmm. from our, our viewers? Mm -hmm. Well, um, again, that uh, uh, again the, the comparison between Nigeria and Ghana. Um, a lot of people this week have said, well, when Ghana or sorry, excuse me, when Nigeria went through the same thing with President Yajua, that the delays and the sort of the the background, uh, 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 you know, behind the scenes deals, whatever was going on, delaying the transfer of power, and comparing to how quickly Ghana transition in a matter of hours, I think the name for it is now No Drama Ghana. A lot of Nigerians uh, commented that this is an example of how to follow the constitution. And uh, I believe Aite even himself tweeted this morning that uh, this is how you follow a constitution. All right, uh, Samuel uh, and uh, Ama, uh, we are going to leave it for now here, and we will continue this discussion. Uh, maybe in the future we are going to talk about the very testy situation between Nigeria and Ghana as it concerns Nigerians in Ghana, okay? So for now, let's just okay. leave this on this topic. Thank you so much for joining us on Sahara TV. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rudolph. Thank you so Thank much, Rudolph. Right. Have Thank a you. nice day. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Good night, Rudolph, whatever. Okay.